I want you to look at the gap that we've got between the second row and the first row. It's almost a car length. When you look at this and, and look at the run that Joey Logano and Kyle Larson have coming to that restart zone, Denny Hamlin's looking in his mirror and seeing that these two guys are going to put him in a position that he's got to anticipate making a reaction to. There's the start of the restart zone. So we're still, I don't know, a couple car lengths away. We, we are, but he's got momentum coming to him. And that's what Joey's doing here. He's got a couple mile an hour speed on him. You mentioned the second row. I want to point out Truex. He actually does a really nice job. The first time I saw this, I thought he had laid back a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, I thought he was more around the door number. That is not the case. He's only around the right front tire, which is pretty standard. If you're a Truex, how do you win the race? In my opinion, you lay back three or four feet. And as you enter the restart zone, you start to roll. I mean a mile an hour. It's not much. Because if your momentum is going forward a mile an hour faster than the leader, mm -hmm. then when you both step on the gas, you're going to carry that mile an hour all the way down into turn one. These are two veterans. The amount of race wins on the front row is outstanding. And that's why I like the no call, because I like the artistic, the human element of the driver. And I feel like Martin Truex, when we looked at that, we played it back several times to listen to it. He may just starting to be picking up a little bit of momentum coming to him. He's three feet back. He knows that NASCAR won't call that. But I think if you look at it, if Denny waits until he gets the restart zone, Martin's going to have that little bit of run coming to him. I want to be clear, the 11 does not slow down. When I play this full speed, it's going to look like the 11 slows down. This is everyone else speeding up. As you enter the restart zone, look at everybody crawl up to the 11. I mean, it almost looks like the 11 brake checks before he goes. That is not the case. That is everyone else anticipating what's coming and tries to get a rolling start on the 11. Yeah, and actually the momentum that Kyle Larson had coming to it actually transferred to the 19 to keep him side by side with the 11. The other thing Truex mentioned, we haven't talked about this yet. What's your opinion? Uh, he felt he got run up high. I mean, without a doubt, he's high. He Do did. you think this is fair or foul for the 11 and the 19? It's a green white checker restart. I, 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 I would expect my driver to, to use him up a little bit there. You're in a position, you're not side by side, you've got three quarters of car length, you're dictating where it is. He left a lane out there, he didn't leave the preferred lane. That's where I'm gonna stop this right here. If Denny Hamlin is three or four feet closer, four, five feet closer to the wall, then I call foul that he didn't leave the 19 a lane. He did, now the angle's not very good. He definitely didn't help the 19 out.